I wonder why they added dynamic resolution before. Dynamic resolution is just easier to implement, I would assume. It's just a resolution slider. Um, oh, yeah, and then the dynamic resolution slash consult test that I did with it. Um, I'll explain that, Chamber. Hang on. Um... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So it would work in multiplayer, obviously. But multiplayer is a different animal altogether as well. My FPS just got worse. It does make your shit blurry. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. We'll get to that. That's awesome to hear, Jom Jomjgu. Jomjgu. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people are just like, holy shit, thank you so much for just fixing my war zone. Uh, I'm catching up. Okay dynamic resolution so the reason why this doesn't do shit uh in warzone so i had a consult where we tested it out uh he was he was playing at he was playing at 1440p to 70 hertz he had that alienware one i think or whatever or the acer he had the acer monitor and uh i finished the whole consult first he was getting about 240 fps right and then uh 240 at 1440p and then i was like oh this new and this was the first consult i had done since the patch like since the season two patch so i was like oh there's a resolution slider let's tr let's see what happens and then i set the resolution slider to 270 just to see if it could do anything and no it doesn't it's 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 nothing it's the main problem so the so how do i explain this the main problem with the resolution slider is the exact problem of why dlss is not going to work in warzone either resolution slider equals dlss um not the same function they equal the same result they they like like the, the, both of these functions is to reduce your native resolution resolution holy crap resolution to increase your frame rate this one does it on the fly it goes up and down to try and hit a target this one just does it statically and upscales it right um this one doesn't in this one lowers your like fidelity this one increases it but they both have the same goal right um now the reason why the resolution slider isn't gonna do shit if you have like a uh i would say 2080 ti and up like 2080 ti and up not gonna do fuck all for you because you're still cpu bound cpu bound it doesn't matter so your cpu physically cannot generate as more any more frames than that game that's just the way it is so when you hit the resolution slider and you put like 270 the game is gonna be like oh we're at 240 not 270 let's just crank the resolution down and try and get more fps but it doesn't work because you're not gpu bound so all you get is a blurry ass mess of like fucking 240p because the game it's gonna it's gonna keep reducing the scaler to try and hit the fps target so it, the only <coughs> hang on <coughs> oh oh coffee the only the only place in time this would work actually is the exact same time and place that this would work there but like yeah it's like the same function so let's say okay you know what would be a good, a good example rems has a 2080 right and then when we go to the same spot he gets like 15 fps less than me and he has the same monitor i do he has the 360 hertz one right no you can't get 360 hertz in warzone period you can get fucking close to 5950x though but because we know that he's gpu bound because he has the same rig as i do he could probably set his resolution slider to like whatever my fps is would be the best 
you know what I mean? So like, so like, if if um, hang on, I gotta redu I gotta lower the font here. So like, let's say we're looking in the exact same spot, and I have 260 FPS, and he has 240. So if he sets his resolution slider in that spot to 260, it'll just lower the resolution to make it more CPU bottleneck. Then his CPU can catch up to mine, right? That's really the only place that you would use that function. But then you're sacrificing visual fidelity. I would rather have the visual fidelity. You know what I mean? I don't see where this would be useful at all, to be honest. Like, it, like, like, this function has no use in Warzone. Like, maybe Promenade? No, even then, you would still take the quality. Because the quality hit is too high. It's too high. Um, Let me catch up on the chat here. Yeah, four sticks will, four Vipers will get you more gains. Yep. Dual rank will give you a good little bump in, in FPS. Um, oh, uh, let me catch up. Dynamic resolution was always a console thing. That's exactly what it is. So yeah, if you're if you're in a console context, that makes much more sense because if okay, so like let's say you're playing Warzone and you're already over 200 FPS. Like, like, you know, you know how usually I configure the consults? Okay, so the consults are like, I'll uh, look at what monitor they have, right? And then if they have like a 1080p monitor and they're already over 200 FPS, I will actually go and increase the resolution slider to like 110, 115 because the, vi the visual quality that you get from that resolution slider is way more important than going from like 200 to 220 FPS. Like being able to see farther away more crystal clearly is better for your KD in that game than going from like 200 to 220. But if they have 1440p, then I just leave it on 100 and then try and get as much FPS as possible. So you have to, you have to tune the machine for the monitor that you have, right? Because these guys can already see farther away, but just by the the factor of their screen, right? Um, so dynamic resolution would make sense in a console sense because those guys play at 60 to 120. So if 60 FPS is like 1800 P and 120 FPS is like 1440, that's fucking, that's over. Okay, let's say 60 FPS is 1440 and 1080p is 120 FPS. It's probably more worth it for those guys to have one 1080p 120. Because they're like they're so slow that being able to see farther away isn't gonna help them. They need to just get faster at any expense, at any cost. Just get faster, right? That's like like the lower your fps or the more so let me rephrase that the more gpu bound oh my monthly report for amazon affiliates the more gpu bound you are the lower fps you have dynamic resolution might make sense for you if you have a mo if you have let if you built that budget rig of my last video with a 10850k it, you would never be using dynamic resolution or DLSS. Well, maybe D, maybe DLSS to upscale to 4K, but you would never be using dynamic resolution. And I gotta close my window. One sec. Hang on, let me catch up. Sorry, there's a bunch of questions here. In your opinion, for 1440p Warzone, what's your what's the refresh rate of your monitor? Is it a 1440p 165 hertz or a 240 hertz plus? If it's a 240 hertz plus, you'll want 10850K. Absolutely. If it's 165 hertz or down, don't touch it. Don't worry about upgrading. Um, because the CPU, the CPU only increases the maximum threshold of your 
uh, but you also need a graphics card that can power it too, right? You literally need a 3080 or 3090 to do 1440p, 200 plus FPS slash hertz. You like, you need a powerful ass system, dude. Powerful ass system. And so if you have 240, yeah, yeah, then a 10850K or fuck 10850K slash 1090. It is a good upgrade, dude. It is just because warzone can make use of the it's like 20 percent it, it like the game literally scales linearly with that shit so it's like 10 divided by uh fuck 10 divided by holy shit the pre-workout's kicking in 25 percent. you can literally get 25 percent more fps not directly like it's like 20 20 percent you know what i mean it's going from a 9900k to a 10 900k is like 20 percent fps it's quite large only in that game literally only in that like warzone is such an exception dude like like warzone like every other game 9900k is perfectly fine warzone you need as many cores as possible as fast ram as possible as fast gpu as paul like you need this like, like that game will take whatever the fuck you give it dude in every context and like the game is so can you even say that that game is unoptimized i can't, I can't even tell if it is or not like that game it's just that people people's rigs are unoptimized that's what it is but if you have a fast gpu you can just move the scaler up you can see farther away if you have fast RAM, your lows are increased. If you have more cores, your maximum FPS is increased. Like it uses whatever the fuck you give it in every way. You know what I mean? Is that an unoptimized game or is it a really well optimized game? Depends. It depends how you look at it or how you think about it, right?